Hey guys, welcome back for more Paranormal Sight. It is Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. So we're gonna continue Hadoe's path today. Yeah, Hadoe's story. This one, a nice thought. It was suspended last time, so we can continue now. Rishun. Yeah, because we finished the uh, what do you call this? Yako's story. Uh, conversation on the bridge, right? It was suspended last time. So, what next? And the big question is, what the rest of the curse bears are up to? Luckily, the Sumida River is a good distance from any seven mysteries. It's unlikely the other curse bears will come all the way here. I can finally have a moment to think. I see. Alright. Excuse me? Hmm? Wait, who's there? What? Oh, there. Strange woman. Uh, where did she come from? It's like she appeared out of nowhere. Who's this? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm terribly sorry if I've gotten the wrong people, but would you happen to be curse bearers? Curse bearers? What's that? Uh, it means someone who's gathering the souls for the rite of resurrection. You have heard of the Rite of Resurrection, haven't you? Everybody's talking about it. Color me intrigued. Care to tell me more, miss? Uh, what was your name again? Osilami. I am Ayame Tono. University student. Uh, let's talk to Miss Tono. Uh, there's more to the Rite of Resurrection than meets the eye, you see. So the best way to collect soul dregs is to kill other curse bears? And that's about the size of it. I hope it wasn't too much to follow. No, no. I think I got the just funny old world we live in, huh? So are you saying you're one of these curse bears? Well, not quite. It's complicated. I'm not, but Yutaro is. Yutaro, is that your boyfriend? Yeah, Yutaro is uh, this dude, right? Uh, where is he again? Yutaro. Yutaro. Yeah, this this guy. I think I saw her when they were pretty much showing the opening last time. When we finished Shogo's chapter, right? Yeah. But they were turned back. Or we were just seeing the backside of both of them. Oh, heavens no. Just a friend. His full name is Yutaro Namigaki. Where I suppose you could say partners in crime. A uh, funny way of putting it. How about Yutaro Namigaki? So where's this Yutaro now? Well, about that, he's not actually a curse bearer anymore. He's more like a former curse bearer. Former? How so? I don't really know the details myself, but apparently he lost his curse stone. Typical, right? He makes such a show of being a top student, only to flunk where it counts. So now I'm out here looking for curse bearers myself. You want something done right? She says her name's Ayame. I guess she's around 20. She must be brave walking around alone this late, or maybe there's more to it. Hmm... He lost it? How did he do that? It wasn't with him at the time, so or I wasn't with him at the time, so I didn't know exactly what happened. All I know is that he came back saying he didn't have it anymore. Although, well... It's strange that you'd probe into that of all things. I'm just curious, a sort that, that's all. Sorry if it's a touchy subject. Oh, I don't mind. I don't particularly care about keeping it a secret. Uh, Yutaro can be a little bit irrational sometimes, so I have to keep a level head on my shoulders. Uh, about why you approached us. So anyway, mind if I ask you why you thought I was a curse bearer? Oh, that. I'm terribly sorry. I was so rude. I saw the two of you out late at night, and I suppose I made assumptions. I uh, gotcha. Sorry if he gave you the wrong idea. Out of interest, what was your plan if we did it turn out to be curse bearers? 
Great question, and the answer is, I was going to ask you very nicely for your curse stones. And you thought we'd have given them to you just like that? Well, maybe not, but you know what they say. You never know until you ask. You must really love your boyfriend, and if you're willing to try something that risky. Oh goodness, no, we're just friends. They, she's been killing him. My life doesn't revolve around him, you know. Anyway, you aren't cursed bear, so I'm just bothering you, aren't I? Please ignore me. Why didn't just go? What are you doing here? About the right. Uh, so what are you trying to do with this rite of resurrection? Well, Yutaro has his own plan all laid out. I don't know if I can get behind it though. It seems, how do I put it? Self-centered? I mean, if he got a chance to resurrect it dead, it would be a waste not to use it on someone that really matters, right? So, I was planning to steal his curse stone at the last second and use it for myself. Hmm. Well, until he lost it anyway. Oh, but don't tell Yutaro I was going to do that, okay? I don't think he'd ha be happy to hear it. Of course, keeping a secret is my business. My, aren't you dashing? Sounds like you really have your heart set on this, right? What are you hoping to use it on? Uh, do you promise you won't laugh? Cross my heart. Well then, let me tell you my master plan. Prepare to be amazed. I'm an art student, you see. Woodblock prints are my specialty. Ukiyo-e in particular. Ukiyo-e? You must be a cultured lady. Really? Do you think so? Everybody says it's strange interest for a girl to have. You know, people often think of ukiyo-e as some inaccessible high-class art form, but that's actually untrue. Back in the Edo period, it was the art for the masses, amusement for the common people. So, when you think about it, we feel exactly the same trills from every brushstroke as they did back then. Isn't that fascinating? Uh, yeah, I guess. And as far as I'm concerned, the undisputed king of ukiyo-e is the one and only Hokusai. Have you heard of him? Sure I have, he's famous. Uh, didn't he live somewhere around here back in the Edo period? That's right, you're just as knowledgeable as you look. His 36 views of Mount Fuji are so iconic, they're only the works of uh, his most people know. Works of his most people know? What? But Hokusai was so much more than that. Then mountains and waves. There's only the teeny tiny tip of veritable iceberg of work. I gotta admit, I only really know him from those landscapes myself. Oh, don't worry about it. Anyone can learn. When Hokusai died at the age of 90, he left behind over 30,000 drawings. That's multiple drawings a day for 80 years. Amazing, right? So he kept on drawing right up and into his old age, huh? Impressive. But even in his final years, he was never satisfied with his own work. His dying words were, Should heaven afford me but five more years, I shall become a true artist. Even on his deathbed, he still thought he had more to learn. He was already a greatest painter and artist of his era. Who knows what he could have done with more time. Well... That's what I want to find out. Hmm. Hold on, are you saying she wants to bring him back? Besides, he always said he wanted to move out a hundred uh, out of a hundred houses, but he only made it to ninety three. Isn't that just tragic? Oh no. No way! No way! This is going to where I think it's going. Imagine the masterpiece he could create with modern techniques. I feel all dizzy just thinking about it. So you're willing to kill other people just to bring someone back from the Edo period? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. So if I understand correctly, you want to use the Rite of Resurrection to... That's right, I want to bring Hokusai back to life. Well, that's certainly a novel idea. That's what she'd use it on? What a waste. Katsuka... Katsushika Hokusai. 1849 200 years almost oh my gosh is that the time i should be going i need to get my hands on a curse bear before daybreak sorry for flagging you down out of the blue like that best of luck
Allá me echó, ¿no? Mm. Well, there goes trouble. If we're going after curse stones, we should keep an eye on her too, if we can. Now, why do you say that? Before she left, she wished us the best of luck. She's got at least an inkling that we're curse bears. My. There's a good chance we'll clash sooner or later. We're after the same thing, after all. You head on back to the mansion, ma'am. I think I'll tail her for a while. No more curses. What was this? A nice thought, not dreams. Okay. Three AM Harue Shigima Shigima Mansion. Back here again. I left Richter to continue looking for curse bears and came home alone. Hmm. Ooh, what do you call this? Mockingbird number five. Can we go in now? Entrance. I'll go inside, okay. Wait, that was it? Oh, we're gonna shift to him now. A threatening phone call. Road. Well, with this, we'll have visited every place connected to the seven mysteries. This is the last spot, huh? And we've got nothing to show for it. Even though every last location looks suspect from top to bottom. Maybe we can we came at the wrong time. There might not be or they might not have been any curse bears around. Sounds like we'll need to do another round before morning comes. Or maybe someone's been observing our movements. No way. It's just a thought. Either way, we should check out this last place. Well, let's hope we finally get a lead. Kinshin Bori Park. Oh, this place. Uh, the beginning. Oh my god. Shogo. Ah, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? Is he dead? We were too late. Was this a curse too? Hang on, I'm going to call this in. I'll leave it to you. I'm gonna take a look around. Hmm. Boss, bad news. What is it? Another mysterious death was reported in the area just now. The medical unit and forensic teams are on their way, but it'll be a while before they arrive. And that is bad news, so they got someone else. You think this is the work of a curse bear? Uh, with suspicious deaths popping up one after another, we have to assume it is. I guess we'll be stuck waiting around for a while. Hmm. Well, there's someone calling. Huh? The phone is ringing. I wanted to check the surroundings first, but yeah, the phone. Let's just check the surroundings first. Let's check on Shogo later. Answer. Or wait, uh, I don't know. This is a new one. Wait a little longer? Uh, maybe they'll do this. What's this? There's something stuck to the side of the phone. Oh, a sticker. Come on, boss. <laughs> oh, we can answer now. <laughs> okay, well, we better go check it out. You're right, but be careful. It could be a curse. 
Hey, I said we. You expect me to go alone? You're the one who's tough against this stuff. Don't worry, boss. You can do it. Go on now. Damn it. Uh, hello? Uh, Kinshin Body Park phone booth? Evening, Detective Chitumi. How are things looking out there? Who's this? I finally got him. The real deal. Detective Tetsuo Chitumi himself. Oh, wait. That's Chief Inspector Chitumi now, isn't it? Oh, it's probably... Uh, what's his name? Nejima? Yeah, it's probably Nejima, right? You've come a long way since we last met. I ask you to identify yourself. Hmm, have you forgotten already? After all the time we spent together? What a time that was. As I recall, I gave you quite the runaround. Wait, is this... Fumichika? Yeah, Fumichika Nejima. Uh, what did you say? Fumichika Nejima? Like the one from the Nejima murders? Ding, ding, ding. You got it. I had a feeling that the great chief Chitumi would remember me. I spent 20 long years in a cell thanks to you. That shit was not easy. You should be thanking me. I should have given you plenty of time to think and atone for your sins. That it did. I repented my conscience is clean as a whistle. But yes, 20 years in prison doesn't even begin to make up for the shit you did. I don't know about that. After all, the justice system was gracious enough to grant me a parole. What? If this is the real Fumichika Nejima, he must still have a grudge against you for arresting him. So, is this payback? Damn it. What is your goal? What is your goal? And now, now, you gotta understand. I've repented. I've seen the light. I've been a good boy since I was granted parole. I even got myself a job. I've been real serious about walking the right path. Well, that's very nice. Keep it up. But it was no good. When the opportunity arose, it was impossible to hold myself back. I knew I had to give you a little token of thanks, or I'd never truly be able to have a fresh start. Do you get what I'm saying? No thanks. I don't need anything. No need to do all that for me. Just try to live a quiet life. Oh, it's no hassle. No hassle at all. It would be all too easy to just kill you, to tear you apart. But that wouldn't be very satisfying. Certainly not after 20 years of waiting. That's a long time to nurture a grudge. You bet it is. I let it gnaw on me, grow inside me. I thought of nothing else. All the time I played model prisoner, endured the harassment those a-hole guards threw at me. And I did it all for you, Chutumi. Chutumi. <laughs> Chutumi, okay. So please just accept my deepest and most sincere feelings. Sorry, but I'm afraid I don't feel the same way about you. Shut the hell up. That attitude of yours is why I'm saving you for last. What are you planning? Whatever it is, bring it on. I'm not running away. I just told you. I'm not coming for you yet. Pay attention when people talk, shithead. You see, this time... This time I want to see you on your knees. Weeping in despair, begging me for mercy. Oh no, I'm sorry, dear Nejima. Please forgive me, I won't do it again. This is exactly why I've always hated you. So much. It was worth a shot. And do you really think uh, that would sate me? <laughs> you must be crazy. Well then, we're both crazy. We got so much in common. We should be friends. Enjoy cracking your jokes while you still can. I'm going to kill everyone you care about, one by one, till there's no one left. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm a lone wolf. I don't have anyone like that in my, fa in my life. I'm boss, what about me? Or wait, are you trying to protect me? And there's not a single person you care about? I wonder what your sweet daughter would think if she were to hear that. Oh, hell no, he knows. Don't you dare, I'm warning you. Oh, very nice, this is more like it. She's living all on her own now, isn't she? Attending university and all, such a good girl. Oh my, don't tell me that she just happens to live in Honjo. Maybe, what's, what's Yoko's name again? Maybe Yoko is her daughter, or his daughter, right? Oh no, but yeah, she's not in college anymore though. Nah, probably not. 
she does no forget it this isn't funny i'm going to find you and make you pay hey, but then again maybe because maybe he doesn't know right he doesn't keep in touch with his daughter anyway that would be interesting though okay i love it keep going i want to hear you lose your mind it's music to my ears I look forward to chopping up your precious daughter. It'll be just like old times. I won't let that happen. I look forward to chopping, okay? How did you find me? How do you know where I am? That's my favorite part. The sound of confusion in your voice. It's a die for. This, this, is delicious. I can't get enough. I'm not selling you anything. Have fun or racking your tiny little brain for it. I guess I could give you a little hint. Go on. Well, you see... I have the one-sided reed. Chuchumi, you have the evergreen beach, you know? Nejima. You're a curse bear? You're using the power of the curse. Indeed, what a peculiar curse it is. But... Oh, that's where my hints end. The cursed echo couldn't have fallen to worse hands. Wait, uh, let me check the curses again. Uh, haunting clappers. Evergreen. Fool's possession. Okay, it's a new one. What is your goal? One more thing we should discuss. In fact, it's the most important thing. I thought you were finally going to shut up. I'm already sick of you, so I'll pass. Oh, but you don't want to miss this. It's the main course. I could just go after your daughter, but something tells me you'd get bored. No, I'm good. You got me real fired up. You're in my head. Well done. But this is a gift Taylor made for you. I'm going to kill all the people you swore to protect. Every last people living here. You couldn't. Oh, but with this curse of mine, I can. I'll give you until dusk. By then, I could probably get a couple hundred people or so. And it'll all be your fault. It must be so hard to know. They'll all die because of you. So tragic. It must be tearing you apart. There's no way an amateur like you could pull off a curse that strong. Unfortunately for you, I absolutely can. My curse stone is a particularly strong one. Which means I can have my fun without needing to hold back one bit. It's almost like the Feast of Shadows was cast just for me. Yeah, you're surprisingly well informed about this. Who was it to tip you off? Who knows? Then how about I kill myself first and ruin all your fun? What about that? Idiot, you think I'd call it off just because you were dead? There's no running away for you. I'll find you. I won't let you get away with this, Nejima. You got 12 hours. Do you really think your paltry little organization will be able to make a dent in my plans? Oh, the sacrifice made will be heavy. I can't wait to see you sobbing with regret. And I'll even have enough soul drags to pull off the right of resurrection. How splendid. Wait, Nejima, you're after? Anyway, see you around. Bye-bye now. So who does Nejima want to bring back then? Boss, did you catch all that? Nejima, what is he planning? Who knows? For now, we need to find him and get him to the custody. Send word to HQ. But the fact that the seven mysteries are wrapped up in this is going to make things tricky. You mean with Nejima being a curse bear? Just our luck, really. It couldn't have been a worse guy. Sounds like his curse will be able to kill a lot of people at once. I like to avoid getting our investigators caught in the crossfire. Can we check about Shogu? We'll use him to find out where he is, but then we're going in alone. We should try to collect as many curse stones as we can before then. Let's hurry. Aye aye, boss. Later. It was reported that a total of three suspicious deaths were discovered that night. Nejima's threats, along with the curses, were kept secret from the general public. However, the Honjo serial killings still made international headlines following the death of 
Police officer Hajime Yoshimi. At Chitumi's request, a large scale investigation was launched into Fumichika Nejima's whereabouts. Chuchumi and Ario themselves spent the rest of the night looking for curse bears in the area, but their search ended in vain. And with that, the curtain closed on that cursed night. 12 hours to sunset. Hmm. So I think Shogo's was the first chapter, right? And then we just finished the second chapter because the night is over, right? Okay, so if the second chapter is finished, then uh, give me a second. Yeah, uh, we'll just continue this. We'll do the third chapter or next chapter, I mean, in the next episode. We'll, we'll start it, I mean. So, yeah, I... Nejima. I really think Nejima is the other guy, the janitor guy, right, that we found on Yako's story last time. It is most likely him, honestly, because he said he found work, right? And that guy who was working, the janitor, it was six months ago. He said, uh, they said he got hired six months ago, right? So it's him. It's most likely him because... What do you call this? I think it was Shutumi that tell that he got he like Nejima became much more different than when he was like 20 years ago. At least the looks. That is my uh bet. Yeah, that is my theory right now. It it was it's that guy for sure. So we'll just continue this and do more of Chuchumi's part. Yeah, there's two parts that we unlock Chuchumi and Yako, I think Yako, right? But let's see, let's see. But yeah, we'll start with Chuchumi next episode. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye bye.